You guys, oh my God, look at my hair. Basically, I knew the guy in the Maserati and I was just like, oh, let me try to hurry up and <laughs> get out the middle of the lane. The fact that he has a Maserati now, I'm just like, how old is that Maserati? It's giving old. Hey, you guys, it's Wednesday. I just got back from Chili's with my friend Ariel. We went to have the margarita of the month. Now I need to take my hair down. So I decided I'm gonna go with the same look again. So yeah, we're gonna take <laughs> these down. I probably should have done this a few days to get my head like a little break, but since I didn't, it's Wednesday at 8.54, so I need to cut these all out. And so I soak them in warm water with apple cider vinegar before I, Oh, before I get them installed because they say that that helps it not be so itchy. So I got these on Amazon. Check out my Amazon storefront. And in the reviews, they said to soak it in apple cider vinegar and hot water just so your scalp doesn't itch so bad. So that's what I did last time. My scalp still itched, but can I imagine how bad it would have been if I didn't do this? So yeah, those are going to soak while I cut these out. Ooh. Wish me luck. Okay, let's let's see. They're just crocheted, so I should just be able to just cut them at the root and then fall out, right? I don't know, I feel a little scared. Ooh. Oh, so easy. Okay. All right. This is easy breezy. Okay, this isn't going to take long at all. Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. I'll see you guys in a minute. You guys, oh my God, look at my hair. <laughs> so now I gotta, mm. Mm. It's giving four weeks, might have been one week too long. Mm. I think next time I'm gonna go three weeks cause this is giving, you have dreadlocks for real? Okay. Um, hello? Okay, I'm gonna finish what I got going on here. It's given I have real dreadlocks. My hair, so I have hair. My hair, it be doing its thing. I'm just confused as to even what's going on back here. Like what? I need some help. Help! Someone send help. Ooh. Mm. 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 so my braid pattern so basically I made it look like they were really actually individually done in the front by getting the front individually done and then braid it back into the cornrows to make it crocheted but to make it look legit I'll show you guys tomorrow I'll make Darius show you guys. I'm going to Darius tomorrow. Look at my little hair. My little hair is growing out. Okay, hair, I see you. Okay, see what I mean? So like this was all in a cornrow and then these are individual, but they were put into the cornrow as well. And so it made it have that illusion of, I got my hair locked. But y'all know I ain't got no hair, so I just needed it to not be falling out every one second. And no braids fell out. I didn't lose one crochet. So I was happy about that. But anyways. 
Ooh. I'm trying to just get one row out. Hello? All right. I'll see you guys in a minute. You guys, look how much my hair has grown. I'm not even in a pixie cut anymore. Well, kind of, but if this was permed, it would really look long. The shrinkage is real. Okay, I'm about to wash all this edge control and product and whatever out of my hair and blow dry it and go to bed. And I'll see y'all bright and early. My appointment's at 8 a.m. So the question is, am I gonna go cute to the appointment? Or am I just gonna look any kind of way? Because 8 a.m. is giving look any kind of way. So there's a lot of crap in my hair. Mm. See, I never keep no hairstyle for one month. Like never. Two weeks, three weeks. Three weeks is a stretch. Oh, I kept it for three weeks. I'm proud of myself. Pat on the back. One month, I really love this style, so I'm so excited to get it again. It's gonna be fresh. I'm only gonna keep it for three weeks, maybe two. Cause I like the fresh look, like I don't like the, it was given real dreads, it was given your hair is really dreaded. And it was a vibe, but <laughs> I don't know. I was just trying to see if I could keep my hair for a month and I did. Yay me, I don't gotta do that again. So, three weeks, maybe two. Two just seems too short, right? So we're gonna go with three. We're gonna try to keep it for three weeks. So, yeah, I'm about to wash my hair. I was gonna perm it so it could really be looking nice, but I don't think I'm gonna perm it because, see, I should have just done this a little bit earlier than my appointment, so I could have had time to do all this, but right now I'm ready to go to bed. So I don't really care. So I'm going to just wash it, blow dry it, and I'm natural. So, yeah. See you guys in the morning, bright and early. Jenny's the type of girl you'd look up to. Jenny's life always seems to be full of the best moves. People back home don't get why she left them. But she don't look back, she don't forget them. Because they don't get that she's just a person. They didn't see her, they saw through her blessing. 4.0 on her GPA. Ivy League on her resume. Everybody knows she's got what it takes. But even she deserves a break. Jenny kisses girls on a Saturday. less hair this time because last time I was sweating profusely all the time and it's because I just had too much hair it was too thick I got my uber here she picked, took me to the hair salon and we watched my YouTube video and next thing we knew my hair was done this only took like an hour and a half probably and the video was an hour so in Duncanville with the parentals Hopefully my dad took my car to discount tires. You know, I always have... Seat belt up higher. You know, I always have the air leaking out of my tire. And they said it's because of my rim. So my dad took my car to put a different rim on there. So hope we won't have any leakage. But if we do, I can air it up like I did independent woman here my mom paid for my hair because she's so sweet I mean you're at the appointment make yourself useful thank you so much asking you shall receive so now we're headed where are we headed you want to get something to eat? we're headed to get something to eat yeah I'm hungry what do you want, what do you want? it's 10 14 so it's kind of breakfast, but kind of not. Breakfast is over at 10.30 at most places. Oh. If I keep straight, we'll have a lot of choices if I turn. Okay, keep straight. 
What's the choice of like Chick Fil A? All the stuff. What else is there? Canes. Canes. Uh, golden Chick. Oh, Golden Chick. You think all that stuff's open right now? Ten fifteen is a weird time. That's a weird time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I'll pick you guys up once we figure out what we're gonna eat. We're here at Cracker Barrel, one of our favorite places that we never go to. So we decided to get breakfast since it's such a weird time. This hair sure seems thin now. Oh, yes. I don't know. Do I look mangy? It looks cute still. But this is like how when you get a perm, your hair be skinny. Oh, yes. Yeah, seems dirty. Thank you so much. I do. Do you want to follow me? You should. Yay. Follow me on the tube. Just I just started, yeah. Okay, well, you're gonna get there, so. Thank you. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. <laughs> I just got a new subscriber, you guys. Damien. Shout out to Damien. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. Let me not be on here. Okay, we're at Cracker Barrel. Hopefully, this doesn't take forever. Let's see if I can get my mom to buy me anything. Do I need anything? up paint I don't know nothing about that got some goodies from Cracker Barrel I got cream savers so I have like a little jar of candy at my place so oh so I got these to add to I used to love cream savers back in the day can't wait to have one Ugh. A little bit later. Those for visitors. And I got some, well my mom ordered this. Some loom, loom acidified deodorant wipes. And then she got like every single flavor baby. So I got the unscented and the toasted coconut. So this is the kind you squeeze on your hand and put. So we'll see about those. And yeah, it is 2.38. I took a nap at my parents, but I couldn't get comfortable because like my head is sore from getting my hair freshly done. I just could not get comfortable in that bed. So I like took a little nap, but I'm gonna take a real nap here in my bed where I know I'm gonna be comfortable. And yeah, I'm gonna go to um, sidecar with my aunt a little bit later. So I'll pick you guys back up then and I'll look cuter not like i've been up since 6 a.m so i'll see you guys in a few minutes oh my gosh you guys i'm up from my nap i'm so tired to where i just couldn't wear any makeup so i just have on foundation and some lips and my big gucci glasses with the chain cute and this little outfit let me show you guys really quick i need to go i just have on this leopard tube top from Naked Wardrobe, Leopard Tights from H&M, the belt I made. And I have the shoes that I'm gonna wear, but they're in the car. They're just like these little black sandals with gold studs. They're like heels though, cause I like to wear a heel. But anyways, I'm already running late, so I have to go, but this is all I could do. I still look kinda cute though, but 
the struggle was real. I'm so tired. I don't know why. I need some energy. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, you guys. So I just left Sidecar Social with my aunt. We had a good time for her friend's going away party. I didn't know anyone at the party but my aunt. So I just went mixed and mingled. Had a good time. Now I'm here at Raw Sushi. So my friend was like, hey, I'm on a date at Raw Sushi. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. She's like, are you still going to be at Sidecar? I was like, no, we're about to leave. She's like, so just come to um, Raw Sushi. I'm like, come and do what? You're on a date. She was like, just come sit at the bar. And we'll just be like, oh, my God. Hey, girl. Like, surprise. I didn't know you are going to be here. And I was like, so I've done this before with my friend Ariel. <laughs> hey, Ariel. <laughs> so I was like, okay, let's see how this goes. So I'm headed to Raw Sushi right now. And yeah, wish me luck <laughs> for third will on this date. Let's see how it goes. You guys, I'm back from going out with my aunt. That was fun. So of course, I didn't know anybody but her at that party. It was her friend's going away party. Her friend's moving to Mexico. So I didn't know anybody but my aunt. We still had a good time. I went to the bar, mixed and mingled, met a few cute new guys. Then my friend Raven invited me on her date. I said, but you're on a date. She was like, just act like you ran into us. So I pulled up on them, which was literally one place away. <laughs> pulled up on them. Oh my God, Raven, I haven't seen you in years. <laughs> me and her had fun with her date. Then we went out. That's where the night got a little crazy. So I had my sunglasses on, as you guys saw, but it was just so hot and I couldn't see. I was like, it's too dark. So I took my sunglasses off and I was just out there like this. Pulling all the guys. Hello? Not, oh my God, you're so beautiful. So I've been wasting my time doing my makeup all this time, so what you're telling me? Because what? I have on this lip gloss and a little touch up here and there so my dark spots, my light spots aren't showing. What? Not I'm so beautiful. I said, ha, ah, I know, thank you. One of my oldies but goodies was like, hey, you look so good tonight. Me? <laughs> this? Okay. So I've been wasting my time every morning for an hour beating this face when I should just be going out like this. One of my homeboys was like, you don't got no lashes on? Is that all you didn't notice? I don't have lashes? I don't have nothing. Look at my eyebrows. I was like, wow. Men are so simple. Y'all are so dumb. I have on a lot of things. I mean, I have like not, I'm missing a lot of things and all you know is because I didn't have lashes on. Okay. Well, it's 119. They said 45 minutes left. I said 45 minutes. Oh no, I gotta go. So we left. I'm about to take a shower because I've been sweating profusely. Take a shower, head to bed, be ready for work in the morning. My cousin texted me early this morning like, don't do nothing on a Thursday that you are going to regret because I need you to be there Friday and Saturday. I was like, okay, I'm just go out to dinner with my aunt. That turned into on a date with my friend out at the club. Now I'm at home, <laughs> exhausted. Now I'm going to be fine. I'm going to make it tomorrow to her party. Darcel, don't you worry. I'm going to make it tomorrow to your party. Don't worry. I'm going to have to get a nap in, but... Whew. I'm so hot. I need to break, cut the air up. I'm sweating still. It's like so hot here in Dallas. It's like 105 still here in the middle of the night at 1 a.m. So I'm about to hop in the shower so I can get my bed clean. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, TGIF. Makeup of the day. Natural-ish. It's giving no lashes, but my real lashes look good. Okay. Outfit of the day. All leopard set from H&M. The belt that I made. And my Kurt Geigers. Happy Friday, TGIF. See you guys on lunch. I am having a great day at work. 
when I got to work, I had a Starbucks gift card from our little intern that we had. I loved her. Oh my gosh, I'm going to miss her. Yesterday was her last day and I was off, of course. So I was just like, oh. So then I went to spend it immediately. Just went to Starbucks this morning and got some egg white egg bites. So I'm not starving right now for lunch as usual. And I got a little drink that the Starbucks guy makes me. It's called his drink. He was like, that's not on the menu. I was like, oh. So I just call it his drink. Can I get a his drink, <laughs> please? And he like makes it extra, the largest size you can possibly get because he just loves me. So yeah, I've been having a great day. I've been killing it at work. Now I'm headed to lunch. I think I'm gonna go to Gloria's because I just wanna sit down and relax, you know? I can get a little shrimp quesadilla. No shrimp enchiladas or or spinach and chicken quesadillas or there's so many options at Gloria's but I don't really know what I feel like but I just want to chill I just want to chill so gotta go to Gloria's trying to conserve all my energy for the birthday party tonight because last night <laughs> kind of got away from me I was just going to meet my aunt Next thing I know, it's 1 a.m. My cousin already warned me, don't do one thing on Thursday that's gonna make you not be able to make it to my party. And I'm like, I'm gonna make it, don't worry. I'm doing good, I'm fine, I got this. <laughs> so, I just wanna chill on my lunch, rest my feet, and eat. So I can be ready for tonight to have a good time, you know? So we're going to Rockwood, day one. This is the start of the festivities for Darcel's birthday. Day one, party one, is gonna be at Rockwood. Inserts flyer here. <laughs> Tomorrow, day two, is at Opera. Inserts flyer here. Day three is at Playhouse. Inserts flyer here. And then next Wednesday is the birthday dinner. So, I'm going to put next Wednesday on next week's vlog. But we'll do all those festivities on this week's vlog. Well, not Sunday. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be making Sunday. But Friday and Saturday, I'll be there. So, yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be fun. She knows how to. She knows how to have a birthday. I will say that. I'll see y'all in a minute at Gloria's. Lunch was great. I'm headed back to work to continue my beautiful, amazing Friday that I'm having. And I'll see you guys at home. We're gonna get ready for the turn up tonight with my cousin. I've already been texting her like, girl, hey. Oh, I had to tell her, oh my God. So yesterday when I went to Sidecar, so that's where I met my aunt was at Sidecar. And I saw the same guy from Sidecar last week who was in love with me and then tried to talk to my cousin because other guys are trying to talk to me. And I was just like, so you come here every day? You come here every day to meet girls. Ew, that's so gross. So I was just like disgusted and talking to other people because I'm going to mix and mingle. That's what I'm going to do. So I was mixing and mingling, having a good time. I was just like, ew. And he like kept looking at me. I'm just like, it's not me. It's not the same girl from last week. You don't know her. You don't know me. Anyways, I'm about to go back to work and have a great productive rest of my Friday and I'll see you guys when I get home so we can get ready for the turn up tonight. Darcel, we're on the way. Not yet. Ooh. In like 12 hours. No, not 12 hours. 10 hours. Not 10 hours away. Ooh, that sounds long. <laughs> you mean to tell me that at 2 o'clock I'm going to make it to something at midnight? Okay, I'm going to take a nap. Because once I get a nap, I'll be ready. Darcel, I'll see you later. <laughs> I'm home from work. I just went to Red Crab. So I'm going to eat my Red Crab, take a little nap. 
so I can be ready for this party tonight. So I'm about to ooh, figure out what I'm going to wear so when I wake up, I can just put my outfit on and go. So I've been on this little natural <laughs> makeup vibe. Like it's given makeup, but kind of natural, you know? So I don't know if I'm going to up the ante tonight or if I'm still going to be natural. Not sure because I didn't really... So on my list of things to do was get lashes, but I didn't do that. So I don't have any lashes. But I mean, I have some old ones I could probably wear. But I've just been mascaring it out and kind of loving it. So I don't know, but I need to figure out what I'm going to wear. I think I'm just going to wear like a little dress or something because that's easy. It's not my birthday. I don't need to look. I don't need to be best dressed, even though I probably will be. But I mean, aside from my cousin, <laughs> but I don't need to be best dressed. It's not my birthday party. So I'm going to just throw in a little dress or something and tally ho. So I'll see you guys on my way out, show you guys my outfit. And I think I'm going to bring my camera. It's my cousin's birthday. I need to get some footage. So I think I'm going to bring my camera to the club. <laughs> Wish me luck. And I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Hold on, hold on. Got Kanisha in the building. We're just waiting on my cousin, as usual. She's always late. <laughs> Charmaine. Hi, girl. Only us three here so far, so we shall see. Oh, oh, she's coming. Sorry, I didn't get to check in with you guys. I was running late. Let me properly show you my outfit really quick before I head to bed. I did end up putting on some lashes. Let me show you my outfit. I just have on this little romper, snakeskin, 
from Naked Wardrobe, this belt that I made, and my sparkly Bottegas. Good night. Good morning. Happy Saturday. <sighs> I'm a little tired. Headed to work. Makeup of the day. Outfit of the day. Dress. Zara. Shoes. Steve Madden. <sighs> yeah. How I'm going to make it to all these parties is beyond me. Next party up tonight at Opera Dallas. It's not looking great, but I'm, I'm going to do my best to make it. I'm going to take a little nap when I get off work. See you guys later. Lunchtime shenanigans. I went to Kava. So I like to go to Kava on Saturdays because it's not busy. So it's like an easy breezy. Usually the line is wrapped around the building. But at this location on Saturday, it's not very busy. So this is in my new little Saturday lunch spot. Dang, this chip looks burnt. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Anyways. Mm. Woo! That's some good stuff. I'm about to go to Total Wines and pick up my to-go order so I can be prepared for like a little pool day again tomorrow. You know, just so I could be a good host. Get a little one-two going on. So, <clears throat> I just ordered it online, and I'm just go drive, you know, drive up and pick it up. And then head on back to work. I've been having a great day at work so far. I'm kind of tired, kind of wishing I had a Red Bull. And I have a Target drive-up order that I didn't pick up yesterday, which has Red Bull in it, because I thought I would need it for the weekend, you know, but then I didn't pick it up, so, because I got my little paintbrush, so I can do my touch-up paint. Target drive up order and um, a few other things, but not like a lot. But Red Bull was definitely in there, and I just was like, oh, I need to nap longer. So I just skipped the Red Bull and the. <laughs> and I had to go to Red Crab to pick up my food. I just didn't have time to go to Target. I need to sleep. So I'm still exhausted, but I'm gonna make time because if I don't go today, they're gonna put my order back. So once I get off, I'll go pick up my Target drive up order. I need to do something else. Oh, I need to go to Ulta. I need to get some lashes, which I had told you guys. I had no lashes. <sighs> I need to get some lashes. And I have a little list. A few other things. I'll bring you guys to Ulta. Maybe. If I even do that. I don't know. I'm really tired. So I'm kind of like... And tonight's the big party. So... I need to take a nap. And redo my makeup. Because this makeup is from yesterday. Well, last night. Whatever. It's not fresh. So I need to freshen it up, i.e. remove it <laughs> and redo it. So that's going to take longer. So I'm not going to be able to nap as long as I'd like to. But I do need the Red Bull. Yeah. Exhaustion is really kicking in. I'll see you guys at Ulta slash Target slash Total Wines slash work slash home i don't know which one one of the one of those <laughs> excuse me y'all i've been sitting here eating my lunch i got a prime parking spot here at kava so there's this place right here can you guys see monte cristo casa de monte cristo it's like a little cigar lounge. Excuse me, what? What's going on here, Casa de Monte Cristo? I have been seeing a lot of flying, fine black men coming and growing out of there. Excuse me, Monte Cristo? Do I need to make a do I need to make my way? I'm just sitting here like, where did he just go? Where did he just come from? What? Hello? 
what are y'all's hours because i'm at work so i can't really indulge right now but i need to make my way i feel like the last time i was here i wasn't in this good of a spot but i was like over i was back a little bit and i was still seeing a lot of fine black men and i was like what are they doing in this area and that's where they were going cigar cocktail lounge enjoy a cigar at casa cigars cocktails and lounge <laughs> that sounds fun i like a cigar i like a cocktail and i like a lounge and i like a fine black man so i need to make my way this i just don't like to come back to this area when i get off work but maybe when i get off work i should just stop by like a little happy hour situation mm. Mm. i'm gonna yelp their little hours and stuff and see what's going on because yeah it's given i need to make my way all right casa de monte cristo you guys so i just got my order from total wines so i just like did drive up pick up whatever so i'm like pulling into the parking lot but i can't get into the parking lot because this car is like in the middle and i'm like sir move it it was like a maserati i'm like oh my god and he's like trying to talk to this lady i'm like if you don't get out the way why did I know the guy in the Maserati? You guys, it was this guy that I never talked to him. Like we, mm, yeah, we went on one date. It was actually around this time, a few years back. Mm, wow, that's interesting. Um, <laughs> so basically, I knew the guy in the Maserati and I was just like, oh, let me try to hurry up and <laughs> get out the middle of the lane. The fact that he has a Maserati now, I'm just like, how old is that Maserati? It's giving old. You know, all Maseratis just kind of look the same. Like, it's kind of like a Range Rover. Like, they just be looking the same from year to year. That thing had to be old because knowing him, mm -mm, he's old too. So, it fits. I was just like, oh, wow. Not you got a Maserati now. Ew what i did like about him though was that he was a skater so i have a video of him at his place skating like i was like i love to skate i love to skate but i just never go skating after him i was like i'm buying my own skates i'm about to get back to this i have not yet i need to put that on my to-do list buy skates and become a great skater he didn't even lace his skates up he just threw them things on and was just I was like, oh my gosh, you're really good. And the fact that he's older was what made it more funny. Like, you're really out here 60 skating. No, he wasn't 60, but he was older than me. I was just like, oh, wow. So now he has a Maserati. All right. Well, I'll see you at the skater rink, sir. <laughs> I'm about to head back into work. One of my favorite humans. So I have this homeboy who's like one of my favorite people. I think we might hang out before my cousin's party which means I'm not going to be able to take a nap, which means I might not even be able to redo this makeup, which means I might not even be able to pick up my Target order. I'm definitely not going to be able to go to Ulta. Mm. So, yeah. Stay tuned for that. I really just need to do all those things. So, <laughs> but I do want to hang out with him. He's so fun. He's like the funnest funniest person you'll ever meet and i just love to hang out with him but we're just friends but like we'd be having the time so this time last year is when i broke up with my ex-boyfriend of course you guys didn't know me then but hold on this is him let's see hmm. it's giving i need to leave work early so i can run my errands before i hang out with him like what <sighs> Okay, I'm going to have to figure that out. But, oh yeah, so this time last year is when I broke up with my ex-boyfriend, which you guys weren't around for that time of my life. And my homeboy really helped me get through that because we just were hanging out and he's just so fun to hang out with. So we just had a good time and it just helped me get through that breakup process, you know. So it just kind of feels nostalgic a little bit that it was a year ago that I broke up with my ex. I've been single for a year, you guys. Wow. You see me. I've been single for a year. <sighs> Anyways, so 
actually on my memories I wasn't quite single yet I wasn't single yet but I was the relationship was fizzling out I think we gave it one more last shot and then called it quits but I think we weren't we were still together at this point yeah because the memory that I just saw <laughs> yeah we were still together at this point but anyways y'all get what I'm trying to say so yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do can this makeup last another few hours <laughs> I just need you to last till about 3 a.m. it's just greasy I'm so greasy it's my hair the product that I be putting in my hair be making my makeup greasy mm. okay so y'all wish me luck I'm gonna just try to make this makeup last a little bit longer it just looks so crazy on this uh with this lighting but i'm gonna try to make this makeup last a little bit longer so i can hang out with my homeboy because i need that in my life he is such a good time he's so fun should i invite him to my cousin's party but he's probably not gonna have on black and white at this point i might not even have on black and white i think i'm gonna just have to wear all black mm. okay i'm about to go back to work and i'll see you guys when I get off, I'm so proud of myself, you guys. So I brought my camera to the club last night. So the footage is nice and crisp, clean, looking right. Usually I just record on my phone and the quality goes from hey to ho. Like what? What's going on here? When I put my clips in from going out. So I wanted to keep my quality up. So I went ahead and brought my whole camera and filmed while we were at the club. And I did so good. I was so proud of myself. Everyone was like, dang, that light is so bright. And yeah, is. <laughs> it gets very bright. I was just proud of myself for vlogging out in the real world, you know? Okay, I'm headed back to finish working. It's given I need to leave early so I can run my errands and hang out with my friends. But I don't think that's an excuse to leave work early. So, wish me luck. Hey y'all, I'm headed to the all white slash black party because of me. <laughs> I'm just wearing this zebra jumpsuit that I wore for my birthday. My studded Louboutins, my belt that I made. I'm in a hurry because I'm running a little late. So I'll see you guys at the party. I'm not gonna bring my camera this time just because Oh, I might have to Uber. I don't just even know what's going on. So I'm just in a hurry. I need to put some lip gloss on. But I will see y'all at Opera for my cousin Darcel's birthday. And I'm already tired. See y'all later. You guys, I'm home from the all white party. Sorry that I couldn't bring you along my light from my phone. It was on its last leg. So it said, no, we're not doing one thing tonight. So I was like, oh my gosh, how rude. So I'm going to order a little light on Amazon because they have newer ones now. That was just like an old one that I had back in the day. But apparently, she's tired of me. So we need a new light. So I didn't bring you guys along. Sorry, what did you guys miss? Let's see. Actually, so we had our little section for my cousin's birthday. In the section next to us, which I was on the far side, so it was right next to me, this girl like had some kind of emergency situation i don't know if it was a seizure or she just fainted i'm not quite sure exactly what happened but she was out and we were like hello help 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 and no one came no security no waitress not the owner of the club just nobody i was like this is very eye-opening. Do not have an emergency situation in the club because no one's going to come to help you. We were like, and she wasn't even in my section, so I'm just kind of like scooting over. Like the guys that were sitting next to me were out of there. I Did, did y'all leave the club? It seemed like they left while she was in the emergency. Then when everything was cooled down, they came back. I was just like, where'd you guys go? Y'all left me here to deal with this emergency situation. So next thing I know, her friend was getting her like some water, you know, just like trying to get her back to life because her eyes had opened back up. And I'm just like, what just happened? Hello, get her out of here. Friends, run her out of here. Like, we do not have the time. We're trying to have a good time. She's over here seizing or something. So, ma'am, we need you to be okay. Are you good? You think so? 
Okay, we're just gonna have to get you out of here because the fact that they had nothing happening for an emergency situation, like we couldn't get no help, we couldn't get CPR, we couldn't get a respirator, we couldn't get a stretcher, just nothing. So I was like, ooh, note to self, never have an emergency situation in the club because what, not one person was worried about us. I was worried about them because they were right next to me. It was in the section next to me. So I was like, oh my gosh, what's happening? The guys, they just fled the scene. Did y'all put something in her drink? Like what's going on? It was so weird. Besides that, <laughs> The night was fun. We had a good time. Darcel, happy birthday. Even though your birthday's on Wednesday. Oh, it is. Oh, I can't even see over there. It's late. I'm headed to bed. Hopefully I can make it to church in the morning or watch it online. One of the two. I'm about to eat a baked potato or the rest of my red crab something. I need a little snack. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys. I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to bring you guys along. But thanks for tuning in this far in the video. I did really great last, last night. So just let me make it. I brought my whole camera last night. Tonight, I thought I could just do some phone footage. That didn't work out. My phone. My phone was ready. But the light. Because it's the club. So you need a light. Nah. So sorry about that. I'm sure there'll be some pictures of something that I can like insert so you guys can see. We all wore black and white, as you see, and my cousin wore pink, which was cute. Yeah, good times. All right, good night. I hope that girl that had the emergency situation in the club, I hope you're okay, girl. I'm so sorry that we weren't able to get you more help. The audacity of the club to not have more help like that. I'm so sorry. I hope everything's okay. I hope you're good. Good night. You guys, it's 5.43. I'm just getting out of the bed. I just cleaned off my patio and I am sweating profusely. Whew. You guys haven't seen my patio, huh? Let me show you my patio. Oh my gosh. So I have the pink patio at the pool. You're like really pretty sign, so cute. I have my fake grass, and then I have my Chanel pillows, and just a little Louis Vuitton, a little Christian Louboutin, you know, nothing too crazy. And then my butterfly wall. This is my little patio out to the pool. People are Sunday fun day in it at the pool having a good time so I just had to clean her off because oh she had some cobwebs because I don't be going out there as much as I used to but I want to start back so I cleaned her off now I'm about to do the touch-up paint for my picture So I have my touch-up paint. You guys, look at this brush set that I got from Target. Like, is this for kids? Whoops. But this should be able to do, right? So, I think I'm just gonna use a little sponge. I don't know nothing about this, but I'm just hoping that this goes okay. You guys, is this how paint works? Is it gonna dry and be the right color? Cause as of now, 
You can see everything I've done. Ooh. I don't know much about this. Wish me luck, you guys, because I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Is this going to turn out to be the right color? Mm. Okay, well, so much for that. Ooh. I feel scared. All right, I'm just going to see how that goes because I have a few other places I wouldn't mind touching up, but I don't want to ruin my whole place. So I'm going to just let that dry, see how that goes. And then we'll test out other areas possibly. Good morning, happy Monday. Yesterday I did not do one thing because I was exhausted from all those birthday party shenanigans. We did have a great time though. Happy birthday Darcel. The birthday dinner for Darcel is on Wednesday. So that'll be in next week's vlog. Why are these pieces of hair just sticking out like crazy? Hello? Ooh. It's Monday, which means now the end of a vlog. So Mondays are the new end of the vlogs. And then if anything good happens Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll catch you up next week. So yeah, thanks for sticking with me this whole time. My paint, ah, just call me um, Sherman Williams because I killed that. Literally, it looks so good. You would never know that my picture fell off the wall and ripped the paint off. Makeup of the day. Outfit of the day. I'm just wearing this t-shirt from my job. That's why I'm covering this part. If you can't stop thinking about it, buy it. These Spanx leggings. Shoe store fringe sandals. And the belt that I made. All right, I love you guys. Thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. And I'll see you guys next week.